Hi student. In this video, we will briefly talk about electric potential, potential difference for charge, electric potential energy, and at last but not least, charge moving in a uniform electric field. Electric potential of a point in electric field is defined as the potential energy per unit positive charge at that point in electric field or sometimes it is also defined as the work done per unit charge in bringing positive test charge from infinity to that point in the electric field. Okay, look at this diagram. Suppose we are going to move the positive test charge from infinity to place at a point A. We know that charged particle in electric field will experience a force that means need energy or work to move a test charge from infinity to point A. And we know that the equation for pot electric potential energy is KQ Q0 by R. Then the equation of electric potential can be written as a V KQ Q0 by R over Q0. Or at last, we can simplify the equation goes as a V is equal to KQ over R or V equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon not R. As a conclusion, electric potential of a point, for example point A, is known as the energy per unit test charge needed or work done on the test charge to locate the charge at a point A. And furthermore, the point that close to the positive point charge is known as the high potential and vice versa. In order to calculate the total electric potential at a point in space, the student need to calculate the algebraic sums of the constituent potential at that particular point and the critical zero of the electric potential of a charge is at infinity. From the equation of electric potential, V is equal to KQ by R so we know that the magnitude of V, electric potential, is exponentially decreased by R. So, so by referring to the graph, we can see that the potential around a positive charge is always positive and it decreases to zero as the distance from the charge decreases. And the potential around a negative charge is always referred as a negative and it will decrease to zero as the distance from the charge increase. Now, let me look at the equipotential line and surface. Equipotential line and surface is defined as the locus of point that have the same electric potential. So, figure 1.21a and 1.21b are a good example of the equipotential surface. As we can see, point A and point B is located at the same equal potential line and surface but not to point C. From the diagram, it clearly shows the dashed line represent the equal potential surface or line and the electric field point for positive charge is in the direction of decreasing electric potential. Since point A and B are located at the same equal potential line, so we can say that point A and point B have the same potential but point C has a less potential compared with point A and point B. If the charge is to be moved between any two points on an equal potential surface through any path, the work done is zero. This is because the potential difference between two points A and B is defined as Vb minus Va equal to work from A to B by Q. And since A and B are located at the same equal potential line or VA is equal to, to VB, then work done to bring charge from A to B is equal to zero. Hence, the electric field line must be normal to an equal potential surface. In case of uniform field, Equal potential surface are the parallel plane with their surface perpendicular to the line of force. Now, let we have a look on the electric potential difference delta V. 
Potential difference is also referred as a voltage. If we have to understand the technical definition, potential difference between two points in an electric field is defined as the work done per unit charge in bringing a positive test charge from a point to another point in the electric field. Let's have a look on the diagram shown. Okay, let's say we have a positive point charge and then there are a point A and B okay, which is close and in the electric field of the point charge. From the previous lesson, we know that since point A is close to the positive point charge compared with point B, so point A is expected to have a higher electric potential compared to point B. On the other word, it is the last amount of energy or work need to be done on that charge in order to place at point A compared with point B. This phenomena show the difference in energy required to place the test charge between point A and point B or call the potential difference between two points. Therefore, the potential difference between point A and B can be expressed as a VAB which is given by delta V is equal to V final minus V, v initial or VAB is equal to VA minus VB or we can express the potential difference between point A and B or VAB is equal to work done to bring a test charge from B to A or WBA by Q0. So if positive test charge moving from point A to point B, then the potential difference between this point is given by VBA is equal to VB minus VA or work done to bring a charge from A to B by Q0. Where WAB is represented for work done in bringing a positive test charge from point A to point B and VAB is the potential difference between point A and B so therefore technically so we can denote VAB is equal to VB minus VA or VAB is equal to negative VA negative VB or VAB equal to negative VBA by analogous in order for an object to have a high potential energy capacity the object need to be placed in a high place but to be placed at high place work needs to be done on the object that what we call a potential and the difference of potential between two places is called as a potential difference and now we reach the last part of this chapter we will briefly discuss the potential energy and equipotential line and surface of an isolated charge in uniform electric field to help students to understand the concept of this subtopic, let's enjoy the video. The number of particles that pass by each second is what we refer to as the current. The charged particles flow through the light bulb because the battery causes them to have a higher potential energy on one side of the light bulb than the other. This potential energy is what we refer to as a voltage. If both sides of the light bulb are at the same voltage, then no current will pass through it. As the voltage across the light bulb increases, the amount of current through the light bulb also increases and the light bulb produces more light. In conclusion, to produce a charge movement, the charge must have electrical potential energy and it will happen if it is close to the positive point charge. This shows the function of the battery where it produces a potential difference and will produce a charge movement.
from the video we learned that the electric potential energy is related to the position of an electric charge in an electric field but in order to have a high electric potential energy the test charge must be brought to a point close to the positive point charge this explains why works need to be done on the test charge to enable it to acquire electrical potential energy suppose a positive point charge Q is held stationary at point O exert a repulsive force Fe on the positive test charge at point P as shown point 1 and point 2 are the point on the line that pass through a point O and P therefore the work done by the electric force is given by the equation dw is equal to negative kq q naught over r squared against dr as a result the total work done in bringing a test charge from point 1 to point 2 is given by the equation as shown in the slide and if the electric potential energy both point 1 and 2 are kq q naught over r1 and kq q naught over r2 respectively so the equation of total work done can be written as w12 is equal to u1 minus u2 or w12 is equal to negative delta u which is that the u is the change in electric potential energy between u2 and u1 and now that we have a briefly discussed about charge in uniform electric field let's consider a stationary particle of charge q naught with mass m is placed in a uniform electric field e as a result the electric force f will exert on the charge and the equation is given by f is equal to q naught e since only electric force exert on the particle thus this force contribute the net force f and cause the particle to accelerate and according to the newton second law the magnitude of the acceleration of the particle is f is equal to ma and we know that the force experienced is electrical force which is q naught e is equal to ma as a result the acceleration of the particle in a uniform electric field is given by q naught e over m there is something students should know because of electric field is uniform which is a constant in magnitude and direction then the acceleration of the particle is also appear to be constant let's imagine an electron with mass m is entering a uniform electric field e which is perpendicular with the inertial velocity u in the direction of upward direction of electric force it will cause the electron to move along a parabolic path towards the upper plate as shown in figure this is the answer why the path made by the electron is similar to the motion of the ball projected horizontally above the ground. I hope students can relate the concept out as the preparation of the next topics. Thank you for watching.